All going well so far, guys. Deck, Deck, I was just going to say, and you are coming back next year. You don't have to do that. <laughs> next, uh, next up tonight is Alicia's golden buzzer act. Now, his audition was bursting with soul, and tonight he's ready to give everything for a place in our final. It's Lifford Schillingford. My name's Lifford, I'm 42, and I'm from South London. I've been with my wife since I was 14. I knew straight away that she was the one. When I was 20, I was in the group called Public Demand. We ended up touring with Gabrielle and E17. We released a couple of singles, but they didn't do great, so we ended up getting dropped from the label. At that time, I had two young daughters to consider, so I ended up working in a sports shop. It, it was a shock to the system. Then my manager told me about an audition for Artful Dodger. Please don't turn me off. It was crazy for about two years, but that too in the end fizzled out. I lost hope. I started to get really depressed and anxious. And there were a lot of times when I was just locked in the bedroom and I'd spend days up there. The only thing that kept me going was my wife. She's the reason why I'm still here. To get the golden buzzer I felt unreal. It was what I needed to gain confidence again. Singing completes me. I want to get into the final so badly. Yesterday, all my troubles seem so far. Said I want you to know I believe in yesterday, yesterday, Alicia, your golden oh, buzzer. Oh, I'm so happy for you. I really am. It takes a lot of courage and guts to get up there. I know how you feel as an artist. If you're not doing that, you're not yourself. And I get that. And I think there are a lot of people watching that will really resonate with somebody that doesn't give up on their dreams. And you didn't do that. And I really hope that this is the start of something brilliant for you, Lifford. Thank you. So well done. <laughs> really good and for me it felt much more of a sort of confident laid back really beautiful audition the microphone loves your voice it was it was beautiful and this is a cliche you were talking about believing in yesterday you have a future so believe in tomorrow uh, 
Lifford, tell me again how old you are. Oh, I'm 40, uh, 43 last week. 43, OK. Well, that doesn't matter. <laughs> I think the good thing for you right now is that I think musicals, uh, being on Broadway, being in the West End, where I used, to, I used to use that as a derogatory term, I think that's probably the highest compliment I could pay someone like yourself now. Um, which is where I think you should be. I thought the song choice was terrible, if you want my honest opinion. <laughs> I did. I like the arrangement. Um, I actually didn't like anything about the, your performance. It didn't feel that this was after all these years, that it was... <laughs> that it was building up to this. You know, it was just very lazy and very laid back, very kind of wine barish. Um, and I think that you're so much better than that. I think uh, you have such a great voice. Um, I wish you could have sung something better, but who knows? I think the audience do agree with me as well. Okay. <laughs> Simon Cowell, you are talking out of your ass again. That was utter nonsense. It was beautiful. It was soulful. We were saying on this show two minutes to change your life. That was astonishing. Well done. Well done. Slightly mixed, slightly mixed. But don't worry, don't worry because the details of how to vote for Lifford are on your screen now. But remember, the vote doesn't open until the end of the show. One more time, let's hear it. For Lifford Schillingford, everybody.